Welcome to Xamarin Form Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use bindable layout in our Xamarin Form project. So previously we used list view and collection view for showing list of items. So today we will show how to bind the list item as a bindable layout. Okay, so uh, let's open the portable project and inside my main page and uh, here I am going to create a bindable layout. Okay. So before creating the bindable layout, I am going to create a class called employee and this employee class contains three property. One is ID name and address. Okay. And also I already created a view model of main page view model and inside this main page view model I already implemented the iNotify property change interface. Okay, because we are using the MVVM concept here. Okay, so that is the reason we are using the iNotify property changed event here. Okay, so uh, now I am going to add a function for populate data. And inside this populate data, we are going to populate some data. Okay. So, okay. So here I am going to create a property backing field of the employee as a observable collection as an employee. And inside this employees, we are going to add some data, mock up data. Okay. So I am going to generate this method and inside this method i am going to insert some employee data some hard coded data okay so here is my five data that is assigned to the employee object okay so now i am going to assign this employee to the bindable object so how to do this because inside our list view we create our view cell and inside the view cell we design our layout and we bind our items okay so how to do this is inside our bindable layout so basically for using the bindable layout i am taking a another stack layout you can bind any of the item to any of the layouts okay so here i am using the stack layout okay so inside the stack layout here i am using the bindable layout dot item source okay so here I am binding the item source as the employees. The employees has a observable collection of employees. So here is my employee backing field and I am going to bind these employees here. Okay. So after binding this, so uh, after that I am using bindable layout dot item template and inside this item template I am using the data template. And inside this data template, I am taking another stack layout. You can use any of the layouts. So here I am using stack layout. You can also use grid layout, absolute layout, relative layout, flex layout, whatever you want. Okay. So here is my layouts. And inside this layout, I am taking another label. And this label, I am binding the employee name here. And the second one label, I am going to bind the address. That's it. Okay. So our bindable layout is totally ready. Okay. So uh, now we are going to bind our view model to the backend class. So going to the main page.xml.cs and inside this xml.cs, I am using the binding context equals to new main page view model. That's it. Okay. So now I'm going to run my project. So here is the items that are showing as a list item because here I am using the bindable layout inside the stack layout. Okay. So we can use any of our layout and we can bind and we can use our bindable layout as the item source. Okay. So it's pretty easy to assign the item source here. And uh, remember one thing that uh, inside our list view and the collection view, we already have a inbuilt vertical scroll bar but this stack this stack layout and this bindable layout don't contains any of the 
scroll bar so we have to use the scroll bar scroll view here okay so i am going to put this stack layout inside the scroll view okay so after using the scroll view this scroll view works as a this scroll view and so i uh, inserted this uh, stack layout inside the scroll view so that you can use the scroll functionality using inside your bindable layout okay thank you for watching have a great day